and Thomas subbed in for Anthony. And I love the tenacity, guys. He simply can will his way into games at times and exert his presence. Shumpert with the steal. Picked by Mozgov. Irving against Calderon. Shoots off the screen. And Cleveland again with the bucket. Well, that's three of their last five baskets in transition. You, you can see the emphasis is to get out and run. On the wing of Flello. They need this one. And nothing but air on that one. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the chart. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Now Cleveland moving it up. Here's Irving, finished off the break. Irving's got 20. Scoring well here at the midway point, and now they're starting to put some distance between them. Well, offensively, they just continue to, to roll. I mean, they're padding that lead bit by bit as a result. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Good. He's now got 10 of 10 from the field. You know, you look at what they're doing, and it's easy to see why they want to run right now. And got nine straight points for them on fast breaks. Uh, you can't blame them for getting out. There's 18 seconds left to play here in the half. And yes, sir, that one drops. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. Out of bounds, Cleveland takes possession. Substitution for the Knicks. Tony Rotten. Long range from the inbound. Another three for Cleveland. This is crazy. Every shot they're taking right now is finding the mark. Literally every shot, partner. I mean, they just aren't missing. Williams a screen. And there's the call on Kyrie Irving. And that'll be his third foul so far. Looking to end the run. So as we conclude the first half. Yes, Kevin, I'm here with LeBron. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Well, two quarters down, two to go. Welcome back. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny the Jet Smith as we start breaking it down for you. What a game it's been for Kyrie Irving. He had 27 points, two steals, and one rebound. And that's going to do it for now as the second half is almost ready to get started. Back to Kevin Harlan and the rest of the 2K Sports crew. We're going to sit right here and wait for the end of the game and talk at you again. And as we welcome you back, we begin our second half. So far, not a tightly contested game, guys, but you know, anything can happen. You look at Kyrie Irving in this game, he has been everywhere. You know, I'm not sure that he can continue to shoot the three as well as he has up to this point. He has been lights out. You know, sometimes, Greg, you have those nights where the basket just looks twice as large as it is. Grand Canyon size. It might be one of those nights for him. Getting underway in the second half. Here's the five for Kurt Rambis. A follow is out there with Calderon. Then it's Anthony, then there's Robin Lopez, and it's Brzingis in at the four slot. Here's New York. Well, safe to say that J.R. Smith has never been short on confidence Clark <laughs> his right. entire career. Yeah, he's always been a guy who could actually play with confidence and back it up. When he's hot from the floor, he can take over games single-handedly. Mm -hmm. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. And for Smith and his confidence, last year even he said he's on pace to be one of the best shooters the game has ever seen. So obviously not lacking in belief in his ability. And not sure if I can agree with J.R. Smith's assessment that, that he'll be one of the greatest shooters of all time, but he's pretty deep into his career at this point. Maybe he's hoping for a Kyle Korver type of career after 30 years of age. Calderon kicks to Anthony. And that misses badly. Air ball. 
For Cleveland, they've gone two of four here to start the second half. From deep, Thompson misses. And sometimes we all just want to show people that we have the range. <laughs> yeah, you're speaking from experience. We already know how good his range is. Um, he shouldn't be firing from that deep, though. Mm -hmm. Cleveland's getting blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Irving, good. And they're really in a good position here, thanks in part to the way he's been able to score the basketball. Anthony kicks to a follow. And it goes out of bounds. That one's off Anthony. And checking out some numbers for LeBron James. He's coming off an excellent season. Putting up about 25 points per. Seven assists and six rebounds. What incredible numbers. He has been a beast. Impossible to guard right now. When he's on a roll like this, there's not much you can do to stop him. From deep three-point range, LeBron with another miss. Well, he had one three-pointer in the first half, but so far in the second, he's come up with goose eggs. Back to Calderon, all alone. Love grabs the board. Love's got four rebounds now tonight. And James with the basket on the assist by Irving. Irving's got assist number five here tonight. The D has gotten a little lax defending the three-point shot at that end. Yeah, three of the last five baskets they've allowed have come from beyond. While we have a chance, let's now take a look at the teams that top the league in shooting from beyond the arc. Their long-range shooting last year was nothing short of spectacular. I mean, they were absolutely unconscious from the three-point line. Matthew Delavidova has checked in for Irving. And the Knicks making a change here as well. Roten's checked in. Smith outside. And Smith gets double teamed. Cleveland gets it back. And stolen by Roten. Now it's Anthony running. He can go all the way. The Knicks have been solid at the line so far. Four for four. That's good from Anthony. And, and right before Carmelo went down with the injury last season, it seemed like he had added the fadeaway to his game, molded a little bit after, after Dirk Nowitzki. Channing Fries checked in for Tristan Thompson. Lopez, no luck. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And really a reflection of their superior effort level to this point. Um, it seems to me they've gone after this win a little bit more. Carmelo's reasoning was that he had been burned enough by Dirk's fadeaway he had to adapt. Yeah, that's a great fadeaway to borrow from, for sure. I mean, Melo already has a mid-range game. Terrific mid-range game. And this shot makes that even deadlier. Pass to Persingas. One forty-six left to play here in the third. Out of bounds, Cleveland takes possession. Oh, we got a moment here now, Kevin, to look back to last year's Knicks. Eighth in free throw percentage, 14th in blocks. And they were in the top half of the league shooting the ball from deep. Average to pedestrian, but still fairly effective from there. And you look at their free throw percentage, not to be overlooked. I mean, this was a team, I thought, that did a really good job of taking advantage of their opportunity. Ramon Shumpert has checked in for Cleveland. The long distance three is Barry. Shumpert's got eight points. And certainly, they are not hesitating, letting it fly from deep here in the second half. And, Greg, I have no problem with that. As a matter of fact, I hate to see teams get conservative with the lead. As long as they're good shots, take them. And as long as they're falling, continue to take them. And Cleveland making a change here. Mozgov's checked in. Kyle O'Quinn is checked in for New York. Derek Williams comes in for Anthony. Williams against James. And that's going to be too many steps. Gets the whistle on the travel. All right, a moment now to see the numbers for Iman Shumpert. Last season's performance for him averaged about eight points a game last season. Three rebounds and two of them. Look out, and then you throw him stuff like that. <laughs>